Hey everyone! I'm coming to you today with a video that's long overdue, which is my book haul for uh, the time around Christmas. So this includes the books I received for Christmas, um, as well as books that I purchased for myself around that time. Um, and I am going to try to be pretty speedy in going through these because there are quite a few books. So first I'm going to go through the books that I received for Christmas from my parents and then I'll go through the books that I bought myself. So I got The Language of Thorns by Lee Bardugo and guys I love this cover. It's shiny. It doesn't have a jacket which I think some copies do. It's still absolutely gorgeous and like textured and shiny and you know goes around to the back as well and these are apparently kind of like fairy tale-esque short stories and the artwork in here is stunning so what happens is that as the story goes along the artwork builds to a full like border around the text and I mean that's just that's pretty cool. Mrs. Sherlock Holmes by Brad Ricca. This is the true story of New York City's greatest female detective. Um, and there was this particular 1917 missing girl case that uh, she worked on. And uh, one of the few uh, female detectives at that time. So I'm really intrigued to delve into this and discover more because I don't know anything about her story. How to find love in a bookshop. Is this cover not super cute? Uh, this one sounds just like a really cute kind of rom-com style. Um, a light sort of fluffy read, I'm hoping. The Alice Network by Kate Quinn. This one has been getting like rave reviews. Uh, I really enjoy reading stories set in World War One and World War Two, And this one is set, I think, it's got dual timeline and it's in 1915 and then in the aftermath of World War II. So I usually quite like dual timeline stories as well. So I am hoping to get into this one soon. Illusion by Paula Volsky. Now this book is I think out of print and so my mom found a copy that was used. Um, I know it's not the nicest cover of the book but you know never judge a book by its cover and all that. I have seen really um, positive reviews for this. It's a, an adult fantasy. It's really chunky so I'm kind of scared of it. <laughs> um, it's about this uh, le the land of Von Ar, where for centuries the magical aristocracy have ruled. Um, with like tyrannous control but now they're called the exalted and the exalted powers are fading and so now only a few of them can replicate even the simplest of illusions and so the rest of the population is starting to pick up on this um, and so I guess it follows Elise who is a pampered beautiful Marquise's daughter and she's traveled to the capital city to take up her post as a maid of honor to the queen um, but now revolution is going on and uh, I guess, you know, things aren't going so well now and so she has to get ready to run um, because there's chaos basically. So um, yeah, I am, like I said, kind of scared of the length of this, but I do want to read some more really like stellar adult fantasy with strong world building and hopefully uh, strong characters. The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. This one, you know, pretty much I think most everybody has read and certainly heard of. Uh, and again, it's one that's just gotten such um, amazing reviews. And I think, it, you know, obviously it's such an important and topical uh, book for these days. So I'm definitely looking forward to checking out what uh, this book is all about. The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. 
I think this is uh, either a fairy tale retelling or a fairy tale esque story set in Russia. Uh, and again, great reviews of this one. I've seen a lot of bloggers that I, you know, I follow uh, really uh, recommend this one. And uh, pretty much every single cover of this one is gorgeous in its own way. And this one is very kind of simple, this nice simple cover, um, but very beautiful. Tarnished City by Vic James. This is the sequel to Gilded Cage by Vic James, which I read and really enjoyed last year. Uh, I know it's got kind of mixed reviews, and I knew that by the time I had started reading it, so uh, I was a little bit wary of it originally, but then I actually ended up really enjoying it, so I am excited to check out the sequel, and this will probably be one that I will be reading in the near future, because I'm just interested to see where the story continues to. And... The Poetry Pharmacy. Tried and True Prescriptions for the Heart, Mind, and Soul. So this is really cool because this book is set up um, as, I mean, it's a book of poems, but it's set up for kind of different purposes. So for example, there's a section for mental and emotional well-being. There's a section for motivations. There's a section for self-image and self-acceptance. The world and other people. Love and loss. So I really like that it's uh, a bit of a different way to organize a book of poems and uh, I'm interested to see what I make of them. All right, so those were the books that I received from my parents for Christmas and now I'm going to move on to the books that I bought. So I'll go through first ones that I bought from Book Outlet and then there were a few others that I got from different places. So from Book Outlet I got Rebel Mechanics by Shauna Swenson. I think this is kind of like an alternate history steampunk-esque book. Let me know if you've read it. Immaculate by Caitlin Detweiler. Detweiler. Um, this one is, I believe, about a girl who, um, you know, she finds herself pregnant, but she's never had sex, so, you know like the uh, title implies. Graduates in Wonderland by Jessica Pan and Rachel Kapelke Dale. And I believe this is a memoir um, written by these two authors about their time following graduation from university and uh, sort of their, you know, ups and downs and the winding path to adulthood. So uh, that's sort of, you know, the, the uh, time that I'm in now. I graduated uh, with my master's a few years ago, so uh, I think I'll be able to relate to a lot of this, hopefully, and I want to check it out. The Unfinished Life of Addison Stone by Adele Griffin. Uh, I have read several Adele Griffin books and enjoyed most of them. So always keeping an eye out for her books on Book Outlet and I saw this one and picked it up. The Midnight Dress by Karen Foxley. I believe this is kind of like a magical realism tale, which, you know, magical realism can be kind of hit and miss for me, but we'll see what I make of this one. Trouble by Non Pratt. This uh, is about a girl, Hannah, who is 15 and pregnant, and she's befriended by Aaron, and uh, I think it's about sort of their friendship. The Twin's Daughter by Lauren Baratz Logstead. This is actually one that I've been wanting to read for many, many years, and somehow I just never got around to reading it. Like, I may have gotten it from the library, but I didn't read it, um, and then I just saw it on Book Outlet, and it was a good deal, and I thought, why not? Okay, and then there were a couple books that I got from the library book sale. Curse of the Spellmans by Lisa Lutz. Now this is in a series, I think this might be the second one, and I haven't read the first, so I'm going to have to do that. I know that Lindsay from Bring My Books uh, really enjoys and recommends this series. I think it's supposed to be quite funny. Uh, so I thought if, you know, I can get this pretty cheap at the books, at the book sale, then I can always get the first out from the library and 
Then I'll have the second. The Stone Carvers by Jane Urquhart. Sorry if I'm missing, mispronouncing that. Um, this one is a historical novel set in the first half of the 20th century, um, but it goes back to Bavaria in the late 19th century. And I guess there's a large cast of characters. It says it weaves together the story of ordinary lives marked by obsession and transformed by art. We Never Asked for Wings by Vanessa Diffenbaugh. I got this at the sales section from uh, Chapters. And I read Vanessa Diffenbaugh's, I think it was her first book, The Language of Flowers, uh, which I thought was written quite well. And so I thought I would check out uh, her next book. And so that is it for this book haul video. Uh, let me know if you read any of these books and if, what you, if you did, what you thought of them. And uh, I hope you've gotten some good books recently. Bye!